Sir, the connect connect has. Oh yeah. Today's session. What we will do? We'll discuss about virtual machine templates and clones. So I want to understand what is the difference between a template and clone, and why you need a template. Any idea, Sunil? Templates means on only uh, uh, and clones means which which you configured on uh, OS that also uh, in clone. Let's understand here. Yeah. So, see what it says. No. <laughs> says a clone is a copy of virtual machine and a template is a master copy of virtual machine <laughs> fine let's understand so imagine imagine you have been assigned with one server build task okay commonly Okay. What all the things you need if you want to build a Windows machine? What all the things you need? You need VM name. Okay. And data store where you want to store it. That's okay. Let let me skip data store. VM name and RAM, CPU, and storage. These three parameters, network and port group. Network and port group means how many NIC cards and what is VLAN. These, these parameters are required. What else, what else is needed? Okay. Minimum, minimum these parameters are mandatory. You will select all these things and you will create a VM. Creation is one part. And second thing, you will power on virtual machine and connect the virtual virtual disk or virtual CD and you will deploy the OS. OS image. So what kind of OS image that you are deploying? Kind of OS image you are deploying Windows 2019. Let's say, for example, okay. When you have downloaded this Windows 2019, let's say May 2019, you have downloaded this image in May 2019. Okay, once the image is deployed, what you will do? What is your next step? Create deploy and the next step is customization when it comes to customization what you will do you will first reboot the machine once the os is deployed it will automatically reboot later on you 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 see some scripts are running on on the back end and uh, once the system is properly up and running it will ask for password You'll give a password and then you will log in. Once you log in, what you will do? Create or rename NIC cards. Public and backup. Or 
some other name just for just for information you will rename it and start assigning the ip address once this is done what you will do rename host okay and you will install vmware tools when i say tools vmware tools is one part and you will have your organization set of tools organization set of tools antivirus sccm or a blade logic or wcs or some other third party tools which you want to use for patching and all and then what you will do you'll install backup agent and monitoring agent any other custom softwares where organization want to keep it discovery agent this that a lot of tools will be there around five six tools are there so you'll have to install one by one done after that after that your image is installed from may 2019 iso from may till again may it's been a year so what you have to do you have to download the patches go to windows update manager okay update and security you have to check for updates then you will get you will get n number of updates n number of updates and you have to download them and install them that is one way other way is first configure this sccm and connect with somewhere you will see your sccm repository will be there from here it will get the packages and install it install it and reboot it the whole process will take one day example the whole process will take one day in the sense creating virtual machine two minutes deploying 15 minutes customization rest of the eight hours understood where you are spending a lot of time this customization is taking your lot of your efforts and you are doing it for day to day how to minimize that okay now i want to shrink down this to at least bare minimum of from eight hours to two hours example okay what all the options we have now by the way there is no customer data there is no application installation for the related to customer nothing no ip assignment i haven't even i assigned the ip i haven't even renamed the host to standard name okay i haven't even joined the domain okay so a lot of stuff is still pending so what i will do once os image is deployed you do whatever the things that you want to do inside the inside the server but make sure make sure don't assign any ip don't assign any name okay please do not join into domain and please do not configure these tools install them don't configure them antivirus join with the respective group and you will get a policies sscm join with the respective repository you will get the bundles okay and blade logic or any other application i'm saying or as a backup agent okay install the agent please don't configure it so rest of the tools same thing just install them do not configure them if i say configure them okay on the backup agent you have to connect it to your client your backup server and start the services or configure the services and provide some include exclude list all these things right so don't do all these things just install them and do not do these things and what you can do once all these steps are done your system is ready with the latest patches as of as of may 2020 along with your organization required software bundles and proper naming convention in the nick and vmware tools is installed 
and standard password is already set everything is there so what you can do once the vm is converted you simply power off this you simply power off this and create as a sorry create as a template that means what he said in the statement if you recollect master copy this is your master copy so tomorrow your team of four members okay and you got a 10 servers to build normally how many how much how much time it will take for each server one day as per earlier discussion so you need you need two and a half days to build the server four people they have to spend two days two full days to build eight servers and rest of the half day to build two people has to build or four, two people has to build two servers the full day so now now i want to minimize that effort into two hours so how many how many normally if i use the template let's say it took two minutes normally eight hours it will take two hours now 10 into 2 20 hours the whole server build will take 20 hours to deploy and deliver to customer i'm saying okay you have four people in a day so all the 10 servers must be completed in a single day itself with the templates fair enough any confusion any questions so once you create a template what it will do it will it will convert that server or a virtual machine into template and it will save in the content library content library is a vmware's default repository where your all all your templates and images will go and save it from there you can pull and deploy it so once the image is created what you will do if you got a request for 10 servers you simply clone the machine while cloning you can you can do you can do customization whatever the customization that you want to do you can do it man that's a no problem okay so what you can do you can do n number of customizations fine and once the system is ready you can assign the ip assign the name join into the domain configure these tools deployment will take two minutes again template deployment will take two minutes and these customizations and troubleshooting any missing things and all will take us some time will take us some time understood so that is the reason why once the template is deployed the the rest of the configuration steps will take little little longer than expected so on an average it is enough two hours is enough to build your server and deliver to customer so normally how build process works okay you have four people okay you build a server your peer team member will review and confirm yes everything is good and he will build a server other team member will review it yes everything is good so these validations also consider two hours for build and one hour for peer validation so three hours overall for one server still you will be able to complete this in one day understood that is the significance of significance of template how to create a template let me go inside the vCenter by the way you cannot create a template out of standalone standalone ESXi host in the sense I have this standalone ESXi server right I cannot right click and there is no template option see some of the options are gone okay I need a vCenter to run all these features Right, so I have one tiny Linux VM. Okay, so what I will do, I'll I'll create a VM, I'll configure it, and I'll leave it to the basic configurations, and I'll power off. Now imagine the server is powered off. Right click, template, convert to template. Or you want to convert this as a template? Yes. 
your machine is gone that is saved in the backend content library where it is go to content libraries add create demo content library for images next local content library templates there's no template here right so import item no template okay let me let me go and use the templates clone to another template i can clone one more template right master template next let's see And somehow I should see the content library is how to import this into content library. I'll have to work upon. import from local file let's see this is also another way to do yeah okay so master image import let's see if the template is imported loading file yeah so you have one master image what I will do I'll go to host and cluster right click new virtual machine deploy from template next you will see data center you have these images content library it should show the content library why it is not showing up Refresh. New virtual machine. Deploy from template. Okay. Let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll try to see. From local data center in your local repository, you have these templates. Select any of the template which you have created. Okay. So, production. M1 first machine I'm doing and where you want to keep it you can keep anywhere next and where you want to keep it you can keep it on the storage and customize the operating system customize the hardware next is there any customization OS customization is not not required <clears throat> and customization hardware I want to increase the CPU. Okay. I want to increase the memory. I want to increase the hard disk. Or I want to change the VLAN. Base image has sitting in somewhere default VLAN. And I have to change the VLAN. And some boot options I want to change. Next. Finish. That's it. If this is not a real VM, that is why you are not getting all these options. But if it is a real virtual machine, you can assign the IP addresses. You can you can uh, power on the VM during the during the template creation itself. In the sense, 
you can assign everything during the template creation and you can you can power on your machine will be ready without logging in even during the os customization you haven't seen anything right let me create one more virtual machine content library i'll i'll, I'll do it in a different way okay so production vm2 if it is a real virtual machine what happens i'll show you okay and i'll, I'll put it on vlan 20. so yeah customize operating system next if it is a real operating system it will detect and it will it will show you some options saying you want to assign the ip you want to change the host name you want to add the dns entries and all okay and you want to set the password and all you can change everything over here next finish that's it your machine will be ready you can simply power on and use it so what happens your machine is created from from latest image now what is as a windows admin what is your task In the sense in the sense now i have my master image what is my master image if i go to production cluster vms or go to data center vms templates i have these two templates right so imagine this template is updated last month april first week now this month microsoft has released latest patches if i don't include those patches in this template if there is any any build request that is that is came in i need to create around 50 servers in the month of may so in all the 50 servers the may month patches will be missing right so what you have to do again you have to update the patches and reboot the server once the template is created okay rather than doing this for 50 times you 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 create one recurring schedule for yourself to update the template in the sense every month first weekend first weekend or a second weekend when the microsoft patches will release what is the microsoft patch release cycle second tuesday of every month so second weekend i'll schedule then okay second saturday second weekend i will put a change for whole year every month second saturday i will put one change so what what i will do i have a four images four different images why four different images one windows 2012 one 2016 one 2019 and one sequel 2019 example latest sequel with 2019 these are four different templates okay so what i will do on a second saturday i will go to vcenter imagine this is one of the template right click Right click convert into virtual machine then it will be converted as a virtual machine now power on power on login go to patching update download the patches update reboot once the reboot is done login and check everything is good now again convert into a template done again your new image has been created with the latest patches okay so what happens once the latest patches were in included in the image 
from next Monday onwards, whenever you create a new virtual machine, you will get you will get installed with latest updates. So you don't need to spend a lot of time when you're when you're building a virtual machines from template. That is the use case of template. Any questions on template? No, sir. Okay. Then what about what is clone? What is clone? Okay. So what happens? Imagine your patching your patching scenario. Okay, recollect your patching scenario. I have patching scheduled at 8 a.m. in the morning, and it goes till 12 a.m. And what you will do before 8 o'clock 7:55 a.m. You took a snapshot that's okay right and what you did you inst you started installing the patches till 11 o'clock or something and then rebooted and tested everything and send an email to customer saying can you please check the application okay now customer is saying there is a problem application is not coming up application is not coming up you spend almost like three hours right so what you will do now tell me what you will do Patching is not successful Sunil. hello Reco recollect this scenario we have discussed this already yes yes the patching is not successful what you will do you will simply revert this snapshot agree yes yes once, once you revert the snapshot your machine will be ready as it is how it looks like at 755 Seven. okay and once it is reverted give it to customer that's it customer will start using the server so what happens imagine if the server is three years old means the server has been created in 2017 okay the server has been created in 2017 and it's been in production from last three years now you are you are installing some patches due to that application is not working strange then what you will do before before you revert the snapshot there is a virtual machine here which is running customer is saying not working not working not working then what you will do you just do one thing before you revert the snapshot create one clone of it once you create a clone what happens it will create exactly the copy of virtual machine how it looks like at 11 45 Understood? Yes. How the machine looks like at 11:45, along with the customer data from 2017, it will create one exact similar copy of the machine. Okay. And you will, while create a cloning, what you will do if the production machine underscore temp give some temporary name. Okay. But make sure, make sure while while cloning, you have to make sure few things. Name must be different name must be different you need to change the ip you must have some spare ip or you need to change just a moment yeah sorry so you need to make sure few things name must be different and ip must be different and it should be in a if you if you want to keep that in the domain add it re-add into the domain and all so 
what happens you have your production server which is having some problem after patching what what is what is your aim you want to do the postmortem of it you want to do the postmortem of it means why it is failing what's went wrong all these things so you create a separate clone and you do your r d over here okay and you revert the snapshot hand over the original server to customer so that he will he will go with his business and you sit relaxly and do the troubleshooting here why the patching went wrong now on this server you uninstall the patch reinstall the patch reboot the server try to try to access the application if it is working okay this is the problem so due to so and so xyz patch application is crashing so this patch we should not install it on any of our servers going forward so for in order to in order to justify or in order to troubleshoot these kind of scenarios you will use clones there are multiple other scenarios but that's one simple way where in which situation you will do the cloning during this situation you can use clones any question okay imagine i have a production vm which i have taken a snapshot and i have patched it and customer is saying customer is saying not working so what i will do i'll simply select the virtual machine clone virtual machine okay so production vm1 underscore temp right it should not be the same name and put it on the same cluster maybe in the same storage or a different storage it doesn't matter next and customize operating system next you have to customize your ip address you must change host name and other things you have to change here next finish so what it will do it will create one more virtual machine here itself and you can power on and you can use it and you can do troubleshooting on top of it and hand over this server by reverting the snapshot and customer will use the machine as it is okay so let's go back to the general statement what they have given here a clone of clone is a copy of virtual machine and template is a master copy understood the difference master copy is your base operating system master copies master copy is your base operating system okay this is your base operating system and clone is a temporary vm from the production vm this is your clone it is also similar virtual machine but you don't want to spend so much of time creating a vm and copy a data and power on and simulate the problem with the with the vmware vcenter feature you can simply create a copy of virtual machine along with customer data that is clone and template is master image remember easiest way okay now let's go back and see the content library what it is and why it is not working for me let me delete the content library create a content library demo next local content library nl optimize enable authentication let's see Next, I will place this in 20. Okay, demo content library summary, copy link, and let's see.
Yeah, let's try. If it won't work, we'll see what we can do. I'll recreate with without authentication. Let's see. So let me delete this. I'll recreate this. The first time I'm I'm working on this content like this. Every time when you work for any customer, it will automatically create it, right? So you'll not get a chance. Enable. Don't enable authentication. So okay. Twenty. Finish. Now let's copy without authentication. See how it works. Okay, and you can use this. And upload the template. Let's see. import item, upload the template. I have this OVA. Right. Let's see. It is importing. You need to integrate this into your front end V Cloud, and probably it will discover global inventory list. These are the data center. Okay, so let me go to host and clusters. Templates. See if there is something I can create now, right? So let's do one thing. Let me try to create a virtual machine. Template to template, machine to template, clone existing machine, deploy from template. Okay, next. It's content library picking up here if the content library is here you can deploy it okay. I'll, I'll, I'll search for the content library how that can be configured and all in 6.7 and I'll let you know but library has been created but integration part is missing yeah tell me hello Yeah, yeah, tell me, you're saying something? No, no, it's okay. The simple tags, it is not going to help you much. But published externally, okay. And internally, you can, how you can use internally, that I'll have to see. New subscription. Okay, let's see. Okay, next. So, new subscription to library. Next, select the subscribe library. I need to create a subscription library, then you can attach the I'll, I'll, I'll review this. It's a kind of V cloud. It's okay. It's not a issue. So basically clones and templates that what we have covered. Do you have any questions on this? Hmm? Hello. Guys. Hello. Yeah. 
my question is any any you have any queries related to clones and templates no sir no so okay fine so what i will do i'll stop here tomorrow what we will do is we will see there is a concept called v apps okay that okay. we will see okay. and also user permissions and stuff also we'll try to cover tomorrow and meanwhile i'll 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 look up look for this content library how we can integrate some more of v cloud and stuff but yeah we'll try to see if we can do it otherwise it's okay it's not a general administration part we'll try to see okay okay so i'll stop here let's catch up tomorrow Vivek, you have any questions sorry i forgot to ask you Sure, let me stop here.